Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Ultima 7 The Black Gate. Last episode, we uh, did a little bit of robbery, a little bit of thievery, and now it's time for us to continue on. I went ahead and fixed my inventory. Um, uh, it turns out you can only have one bag inside of a bag, it looks like, so I have this extra bag. Um, oh, we kind of got things split up a bit. YOLO is holding way too much. Can we just give this to Grug? Just to make it easier for YOLO to steal? Yes, there we go. These crossbow bolts are kind of weighing them down, but we have 90 of them. 90 crossbow bolts! Alright, look at this. We haven't even accomplished anything in the game yet. And we are already full of loot. Alright, two, this is the Marcus the Trainer. And actually, if we look at our stats, it uh, looks like we have three training points available for Grug. Um, and... Zero training points available for... YOLO. Hmm... Combat magic. Alright. We don't have any magic yet. I'm not sure how magic works yet here. But look at the clouds! Huh. Alright, so here we have the home of Marcus the Trainer. Karina's workout, found within this plane bound volume, is a combat and exercise training manual. The book provides simple yet complete illustrations, demonstrating a variety of steps that will not only disable an opponent but also aids in good cardiovascular circulation. Alright, what do we got? A dagger. We don't need to rob everybody blind. Um, he's got some swords and things. Let's talk to him here. You see a solid looking but seemingly bored fighter. What's your name? I am Marcus, the trainer. What's your job? I am a trainer here in Trinsic, he says gruffly. If thou dost wish to increase thy skill in combat, I can help thee. Uh, tell me about Trinsic. The fighter shrugs. This town is all right, he sniffs. Uh, what about training? The cost to train is 20 gold. Too costly, right? Yes. Marcus yawns. Very well. Um, what about murder? I heard about it. But I assure thee, I know nothing of the details, Marcus yawns. Alright, well, we don't want to train. I'm not sure about training yet. Who's this lady? Hey, 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 lady! I don't want to move the lady. You see a young woman with a bright smile. What's your name? My parents named me Caroline, she says proudly. What's your job? I have no job, per se, but I have devoted my energies to helping the Fellowship. I hope to recruit new members. Ooh, tell me about the Fellowship. The Fellowship is a group that's been gaining much popularity in recent years than the people of Britain. Um, oh, it looks to be the same speech. I'm going to open up this drink so my throat is not so dry. It looks to be the same speech uh, that we got from What's-His-Face, uh, the provisioner that we robbed. Uh, it's teaching other power forever, also to shape pretend society. Ceremonies are deeply moving experiences. Well, we already know about this. What about society? Every night at 9 o'clock, we have a meeting in the Fellowship Hall. Thou mayest consider thyself invited to attend. Okay. Tell me about the murder. She looks concerned. Tis awful. Christopher was a nice man. Didst thou know he was one of our members? I cannot believe he is dead. Ah. Oh. So he was a member of the Fellowship. What about the members? Members of the Fellowship. We meet every night at the Hall. Thou shouldst visit. Alright, well... Looks like we've been invited to church. We'll have to check that out. Goodbye. Uh, up around here should be the house where Spark lives with his dad. There's no one here. All right, what do we have? We have a gap. Is this a staircase? Hey! You see a boy who appears to be a young teen. He is dirty and unkempt. He looks as if he has been crying. Oh, look at his little tears. Aww. But he sits up straight and looks sharply when he sees you. Who art thou and what dost thou want? You realize the boy has a sling in his hand. You face the boy and tell him who you are. I am the Avatar. The last time I heard that one, I fell off a prehistoric creature from Eodon. Boy, this is the Avatar. Upon my word, he is. He has come to help thee. 
When the boy narrows his eyes, studying you, he slowly lowers his weapon, ready to act in case it's a trap. You admire the boy's obvious experience in dealing with strangers. You and Sparks stare at each other. He is not sure what to do. Finally, he nods his head. All right, I believe thee. Now it does look like paintings I have seen. I am sorry, my lord. Ooh, okay, what's your name? I have always been called Spark. What's your job? I have no job. I am only 14, so I am just learning how to best help father in the smithy, he says proudly. But then he suddenly realizes something which terrifies him. And now that father is dead, I am an orphan. Aww. Um, tell me about the smithy. Father was the best blacksmith in Britannia. People were always coming from everywhere to get him to make this and that. Um, tell me about your father. Father was the blacksmith. I cannot believe that he has been murdered. He had no enemies that I know of, unless it was the Fellowship. Wait, what? Well, at first they harassed Father and me when they came around, asking us to join. I suppose they do good things. Many people like them. Father eventually joined the group after he went to Britain and took one of their tests. What tests? I do not know anything about them. I never took one. Maybe you should ask the man at the Fellowship branch, Clog. Okay, what about the branch? The Fellowship has branches all over Britannia. Who is Clog? He is the head of the Fellowship branch here in Trinsic. He and Father got into an argument a week ago when Clog and two of his friends came to talk with Father. Two people jumped on the bo- mm. What was the argument? I don't know what it was about. Perhaps you should ask Clog, who are his friends. I do not remember what they look like. I do not recognize them. They were most likely some other members of the Fellowship. Tell me about the murder. I cannot believe Father is dead. And poor Inamo, too. It is so strange. I dreamed it was happening. Well, in a way. Last night, I was having a nightmare about Father. I dreamed that he screamed and I woke me up. I looked around the house, but he was not in his bed. He was. I was wide awake, and so I went to find him. What was the nightmare you had? I know it sounds witless, but I dreamed that a big red-faced man was watching down on everything, and he looked down and he noticed Father. That's all I remember. What did you find? No, I did not find him, at least not right away, but I did see something. What did you see? I was in front of the stables. I saw a man in a wingless gargoyle running from behind the building. They ran toward the dock, then I went inside and found... Ah! So there was a man in a wingless gargoyle. Father. Spark's voice falters and he begins to sob a little. Who was the man? All I saw of him was the man had a hook for a right hand. Ah, a pirate! Tell me of the hook. Wait, wilt thou go find the man with the hook? Let me help thee, the boy pleads. His tears cease and his face takes on a determined, forceful look. Take me with thee, please. I must avenge father's death. Thou dost not take me with thee, I will follow thee anyway. The boy is all excited now. I am an expert with a slingshot. I can strike sewer rats with almost every shot, and I am small. I do not eat much. Please take me. Please ask me to join thee. Yolo whispers to you. I do not know about taking a child on the road with us, my lord. Suddenly, Spark lets his sling fly. His target, a small fly hovering above Yolo's head, is smacked out of the air. You laugh as Yolo yelps, jumps away curses and runs his fingers through his hair. I told thee I am good. May I join you? Yes! Hooray! The boy leaves with delight. Alright! We have got Spark, a little kid, to join us in our murder investigation. Uh, tell me about the gargoyle. I cannot tell one gargoyle from another. I could not identify him except that he had no wings. Alright. You're an orphan now. My mother died a long time ago. I can just barely remember her. What about the Inamo? He was a very nice gargoyle. He helped father a lot and did tasks in the stables. I cannot think why anyone would want to kill him. What about the key we have? That looks like the key to father's chest. I wondered where it was. All right. All right, I will speak with thee later. No, you'll follow us. You're a member of the team. All right, what do we have here? All right, so little guy's got a sling. 
Uh, an extra sling. Oh, a so those are sausages and grapes. All right, so um, sausage and grapes go in the food bag. That's the food bag, right? Yep. To the food bag you go. Oh, he, he can actually carry 28 stones. Um, let's give him this bow. Let's give him all these arrows. Let's give him a helmet. That's good. Are you holding anything we should give this kid? No, you're carrying a million pounds of stuff. Oh, but we should have an extra bag we can put in his bag, right? Yes. There we go. So let's take off your sling here, kid. Oh, we gotta get this kid equipped. Well, let's give him the bow. Let's give him these arrows. Equip those. All right. Boom! We gotta get this kid some leggings and armor. Well, we'll do that in a bit. We know. I remember there was some leggings we passed up. Now let's go ahead and save. Yes. Save over our murder investigation. All right. Let's check out the rest of his house real quick. Can we go up these stairs? We can. Let's see what's in his father's chest. So the chest is locked, but we have this key, which has unlocked it. Okay. And in here we have a fellowship medallion. We better, we better take these things. So we have a fellowship medallion. We have a scroll. Thou hast received payment. Make the delivery tonight. Well, that's odd. And 100 gold. Well, we're going to need the gold. Uh, ooh, he received payment. Let's take this little scroll. Why not? So they gave him money, and he was going to make a delivery that evening. And then they killed him instead. Hmm. That bow is hilarious looking. Look how big that is on Spark. That's great. Um, man. Oh, this is just another house over here. How do we get in this house? Where's the door? There it is. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got some stuff we're going to pick up here. Uh, we're going to grab this meat. We don't need a helmet. We got one of those for everybody. Spark is going to need these gloves, though. We got a backpack with what in it? A whip? I will go ahead and take the whip. Uh, we got some torches. We got some more lockpicks. Ooh, four lockpicks. Can we just take the backpack? No. Uh, we're doing that thing again. Where... The inventory management is just a bit of a pain. I wonder if I take this torch. Oh, yeah, I know. I've got to do this inventory stuff off screen a lot because this bag is empty. If I put this bag here, can I grab this backpack and put it in his backpack? No. So apparently, oh, I don't want to talk to you yet. So apparently we can't take this backpack. That's fine. Uh, we have a book though. Struck Commander. This tome is the fanciful story of a man who, among the several com comrades, gains access to a flying vehicle, much like a cart, and uses his abilities to fight terrorists and despotic monarchs who employ mercenaries using their own flying carts. Ah, and it's written by uh, Gilberto. Um, who, isn't he the uh, shipwright in town? Uh, ooh, we got some gold and a dagger. Let's uh, grab that gold, por favor. Seven gold. So everybody gets one bag inside their backpack, and the rest is just going to be a disaster of inventory. Oh, we're talking about eating already. We eat what I say we eat. And so it begins, the whining for food that is part of this game. Um, all right, let's take a look at these inventories real quick, though. we got to get you some leggings. You've got some gloves. You've got this whip equipped as well. You've got a bag. 
Let's give your gold to Grug. Thank you. So you got a bag, you got a sling. Yolo doesn't have a bag. Oh, we'll just let him put it there, whatever. Um, again, inventory management, I think, is going to be kind of key to us getting through this game at all. Um, I'll tell you what, 233 gold, huh? Oh, there's 200 gold there. Uh, some torches. YOLO, you... Oh, you don't need to carry the torches. The Avatar can. That's because those just weigh a lot. Uh, and we'll give the Avatar this. I wish we could keep this key. I hope we never need it again. Who knows? Avatar's got the lockpicks. Alright. That freeze. You up. And you up. We need to go get some leggings for our uh, buddy here. And he needs some boots, actually. There were some boots in here, right? Oh, there's some boots? Yeah. Let's grab these boots. You will stop talking about food. Um, and then there were some leather leggings all the way down here. Uh, where were those leggings that we saw? They were in... Were they in here? No. They were in a long house. Was it this one? Way down here. Oh, every Spark's not hungry, but the Avatar and YOLO are hungry. So we'll feed them here in a minute. Uh, but you're going to see how food becomes a pain in the, the tukus. Uh, let's go ahead and... I want to find those leggings real quick before we do anything else. They were sitting on a counter. Is it over here? Yeah, there they are. There they are. I want to grab these for him. We should now all have leather leggings, leather armor. He's got a bow. All right. Cool. All right, so who is hungry? Let's take a look. Uh, Grug and YOLO are hungry, so let's open up Grug's inventory and get in our food pile here and let's go ahead and use up some of this bread. Give that to Grug. Give that to YOLO. And everybody is now full. Alright. Before we leave town, we are going to have to buy a large amount of provisions. All right, we're gonna keep circling around. Um, there's a little, that fountain is so nice, such a better sound than before. Uh, here we have the pedestal, where the thing used, the rune used to sit. This must be the mayor's. Yeah, it's the mayor's house. All right, what do we have in here? All kinds of stuff to read. A map of Britannia. Brommer's Britannia. Twixt the covers of this atlas is a detailed description of the entire continent of Britannia and the nearby islands. Okay. A bill of underwater scavenging in cricket plane. Section 9. Whereby, the participants belonging to the first party of the first team may also engage in supplementary treasure seeking within the boundary of 239 feet from the docks, whereby the participants belonging to the second team may follow accordingly. Provided there are used no handkerchiefs within the bounds of seven and one half feet of the first party of the first part. Be it known, the second party of the first part may not involve outside. Well, that's just silly. A quill, some chairs, a statue. Are these just candles? A light source. Some candles. Inside the mayor's office proper. Can I get in the mayor's office? Is this a door? I can't get in the mayor's office. There is a chest. How do I get in here? Is there another lever? Hmm. Here we have the mayor himself. We don't want to talk to him yet. We've got a bag over here with some bread. Let's go ahead and save before we steal this. 
hopefully he can't see us here. There we go. Oh, I keep double clicking on them to get their inventory open. And I don't want to do that. Not my plan. There you go, Grug. Alright. How do we get... This has got to open somehow. I wanted that chest. This has got to be a door. I mean, this is a door. I mean, look at it. It's a door. There's no other option. Is there a lever? Like, we saw the lever before, which I had seen used... ...before. Can't click the statue. Does nothing. Is he sitting on something? No. Okay, well, we won't... We have no idea what's in that chest. But we shan't be getting it, unfortunately. Alright, let's head up this way. Uh, this is the north gate to town. Oh, hey, lady. Yes, there's the north gate to town. We can't leave because we don't have a password yet. But here we have... A couple more little houses, it looks like. So we have one right here. What do we have in here? Ooh, a little shop. Um, kind of a cool floor. Look at that. Uh, and some hood. Swamp boots! You know what's going on here, folks. Oh, I almost, I almost stole that. Swamp boots. Swamp boots for Grug. For the first time ever, folks, in the playthrough, we have picked up the swamp boots. Oh yeah. It's gonna be important, trust me. Based on the previous game... Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just somebody's hand. Based on the previous game, we're gonna want those swamp boots pretty bad. Ooh, we've got a sleeping guard. Ah, Gilberto, this is his room. He's taking a little nap. That's okay. What do we have here? We got a kitty cat. And... It's a fancy looking house. Oh, it's a painter's house. The Book of the Fellowship by Batlin of Britain. Good morning to thee, gentle friend and traveler. No matter what time of day it might be when thou art reading this, no matter what the hour of the clock, I say good morning to thee, because this very moment brings to thee the coming of the dawn. The dawn, as everyone knows, is the moment when illumination comes. The dawn marks the end of the long dark night. It is the moment that marks a new beginning. It is my humble hope that there's words may be for thee a dawning, or at least a sort of awakening. Well, not for us, but apparently this is somebody who likes to paint. Ooh, can I can I paint? I want to paint. Thou should use the brush in pigment, Scrug. Oh! Wait, I can put the brush on here? Oh, I can't paint. Apparently I'm not good at painting. Oh well. Alright, looks like we have just a couple more places to check out and then we'll be done with our investigation here. Got a little building here. Anything inside? Ooh, we guess, I see a chest. It looks like we have a club. I don't care about that. A horseshoe. A chest with a little bit of monies. Again, we're robbing everyone blind here. Oh, he's gone. Oh my goodness, while well, he's gone. What's in here? Quick. Take it all. This kind of freezes time, so we're going to use our moment that he's gone to grab everything we see that we might want. What are these? Sextants? <gasps> What's this? Kitchen items. I don't care. Are these sextants? Oh, we need a sextant. Okay. I know we'll need a sextant. It's an Ultima game. Uh, what else do we have here? A blotter? A quill? 
documents. A chest? What is this? That's a gold freaking bar. It's in here. Oh, we're gonna have to walk to the left. Oh no, he's coming back! Ah, a potion. Okay. Well, so far we've got away without getting caught stealing. Let's go ahead and save. Can I steal this potion? Yes! Success! Alright. This must be the shipwright dude, right? You see a salty old sailor who reeks of tobacco. It's okay. What's your name, sir? My name is Gargan. He sniffs loudly. What's your job? I am the Trinsic Shipwright. If thou wouldst like to know about a ship or a sextant, just say so. He coughs. Uh, tell me about a sextant. I sell sextants for 80 gold. Want one? He clears his throat. Nope, I already got one. Suit thyself. Tell me about the fellowship. I'm too old to pay attention to them. Gargan wipes his runny nose on his sleeve. Tell me about the hook. Maybe I've always seen pirates and sailors with peg legs and hooks. If thou hast seen one, thou hast seen another. But the man suddenly frowns. Hmm. Now that thou dost mention it, I did see a man with a hook late last night after sundown. I was leaving the shop and saw him outside. There was a wine, wingless gargoyle with him. They were walking east. Towards the stables. He sneezes, then coughs a couple of times. I told thee it was him? Ooh, tell me about the crown jewel. Yes, that ship was docked overnight, he consults his log. She sailed for Britain at sunrise. I do not recall seeing anyone get on or off. Gargan sorts and coughs a couple of times. Are you feeling all right, man? Gargan coughs, wheezes, and then lights his pipe. On inhaling, he has a coughing spasm until he finally catches his breath. Never felt better. All right, uh, what about a ship? Thou dost want to buy a ship? The old man asks, smiling. Apparently not too many folks buy ships these days. My ships are sturdy and well-built. They may not be built by Owen, but they are fine vessels. But thou must first purchase a deed. Gargan wipes his runny nose on his sleeve. How much is a deed for a ship? The deed I can sell thee is for the ship the Scaly Eel. It goes for 600 gold. Are you interested? No. Some other time then, the sailor shrugs, disappointed, and sneezes. But who's Owen? Thou hast not heard of Owen? Find a shipwright in the land. He lives in Minoc. Ooh. All right, let's ask about the murder. I heard about that. Terrible thing to happen. Can't say I saw or heard anything, though. Gargan coughs, clears his throat loudly, then splits. Ooh, yuck! All right, goodbye. May the day have smooth sailing, the sailor starts to say, but a coughing spasm interrupts him. All right, well... Let's do some quick more inventory management, because I know that's fun. Um, just because we picked up some stuff here. Uh, Lockpicks go to Grug. Wow, we got nine more lockpicks. Potions go in the food bag that Grug has. Gold goes to Grug. This can stay here. The sextant will leave with our little kid here. Spark can hold on to that with his giant bow. So inside of Grug's inventory, we need to put this in the food bag. This goes in the food bag as well. This key, I just don't... Do we make Yolo the keeper of the keys? I'm not sure what we do with that. I do know that we need to now go talk... We haven't talked to anybody in the fellowship yet. Let's go do that. Oh, let's talk to the mayor first, actually. Save our game here. Oh, we actually no. We heard there was that there was that argument they had. Let's see if anybody in the fellowship knows about the argument. That'd be around front, because we know that Christopher got in an argument with Clog. So let's talk to Clog, who I'm assuming is in here. The sign says Fellowship Hall. Oh, it's got cool music. All right, what's the fellowship got here? The fellowship staff? Some cake? Well, listen. 
we gotta steal the Fellowship's cake. No question. Uh, a bottle? That's fine. We got a bag with some rings? The Book of the Fellowship. Good morning to the... Okay, we've already read the Book of the Fellowship. A little bit of gold. We're, we're getting scary here. We gotta be careful. They might catch us stealing. Uh, so they've got a church. There was a staff of the fellowship there. I don't know what that does, but I don't want to take it. Um, this is just a podium, an icon of the fellowship. I'm gonna bet you this is Clog down here. Oh, is this a... Ah. This is a woman who seems pleasant and welcoming. I am proud to meet the Avatar, she says beaming. What's your name? My name is Ellen. What's your job? I do the bookkeeping at the Fellowship Branch. I work with mine husband, Clog. Okay. What's the Fellowship? Perhaps thou couldst call it a competent philosophy. We meet here at the Branch office every night. What's the philosophy? The Fellowship advances the philosophy of sanguine... Cognition. Yes, we've already read this. We already knew all this. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, what's the branch office? The Fellowship has branches all over Britannia. It is a most popular philosophical society. Who is Clog? My husband Clog is a wonderful branch leader. He is an inspiration to all of the Trinsic members. Do you know about the murder? Tis awful, is it not? Of course. I was home with Clog all night. Okay. Goodbye. I hope to see thee again. Let's talk to Clog here. Clog, stop. Stop moving, Clog. This man exudes kindness and geniality. Ah, Avatar. I recognize thee at once. Word has moved through town quickly. I have heard thou wert here. What's your name? My name is Clog. What's your job? I am the Trinsic Branch Leader of the Fellowship. I work here with my wife. Um, can you tell me about the argument that happened between you and Christopher? Last week, Christopher stated that he wanted to leave the Fellowship. Canst thou imagine? Well, we simply attempted to speak with him and alter his decision. The man verbally assaulted me and my companions with no provocation. Uh, who are your companions? They have gone to Fellowship headquarters in Britain. They were here delivering Fellowship funds. Their names are Elizabeth and Abraham. All right. Is Ellen your wife? She is my wife and bookkeeper of our branch. Uh, the f tell me about the crown jewel. I do not know that ship. How about this medallion? Christopher had expressed interest in leaving the fellowship. Perhaps he had stored it for safekeeping. Okay. What about this scroll? I do not know anything about that. How about the gold we found? I do not know what thou art talking about. How about this hook? I am afraid I do not know a man of that description. What about the murder? Well, the man says, reflecting, I was home all night, and my wife Ellen will certainly verify that. But as we say in the Fellowship, worthiness precedes reward. Christopher must have done something bad in the poor gargoyle Inamo. It's just a pity. Uh, what about Christopher? Christopher was a valued member of the Fellowship for some time. Unfortunately, we got into a petty argument last week. What about the gargoyle? I did not know the gargoyle. Sounds as if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Tis a pity. What is the test? Batlin and Britain will be happy to administer our test to thee. Thou should certainly take it. Who knows? Thou mayest find something within thee that needs improving. Okay. And then we ask him about the Fellowship. The Fellowship is a group that has been gaining much popularity. While the service may simply appear to be a scholar society, teaching blah blah blah, we ask you about the philosophy. That tells us the same thing about the philosophy and asks us if we want to join. Let's say yes, I want to join. Then thou shalt go immediately to see Batlin at the Fellowship Hall headquarters in Britain. Okay. So, is there anything else I may help thee with, Grug? Let me know. If we want to join the Fellowship, we have to go talk to Batlin in Britain. Well, I think we know enough about the mer- How is everybody hungry again? You guys just ate. We're gonna have to buy a bunch of food. Um, 
Apparently. We're gonna need to buy a lot of food. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's feed Grug and Yolo. So they can stop being all hungry. There we go. Let's go talk to the mayor to wrap up this episode. Because I think we probably know enough about the murder to get the password from him. Where's the mayor? Ah, there he is. Wait, there's a torch here. Hold on, hold on. Nope. Lighting those did not open this. Okay. Mayor! Yes, Avatar? Finnegan asks. We already know your name, Job Murder. Uh, let's talk quick about Clog. He is the Fellowship Branch Leader, Kind Man. Let's report. Are they ready to answer some questions concerning the investigation? Yes. Very well. What was Christopher's occupation? He was a blacksmith. What did those find at the murder site? I found a key. What did the key open? A chest in Christopher's house. What did, the, what did you find in the chest? I found gold, a medallion, a scroll, all of these. Dost thou have a suspect? Yes. What does this villain look like? He has a hook hand. Hmm. Any leads on finding him? I think he could have gotten on the crown jewel. The mayor is pleased. It seems that thou art pursuing thine investigation with genuine fervor. He thinks thou shouldst go to Britain and see if thou canst find this man with a hook. Here is half of thy reward money. Thou wilt receive the rest when thou dost prove that the killer hath been brought to justice. The mayor hands you a hundred gold coins. Dost thou need the password? Yes. Before I give thee the password, I must admit I have had my doubts about you, thou truly being the Avatar. I must ask thee to indulge me in order to satisfy my somewhat suspicious nature. I shall ask thee a few questions regarding the geography of Britain. Aha! We're going to get asked these questions that we have. Okay. And this is going to be the copyright stuff. Please answer with the number of the longitude or latitude from thy cloth map. Remember, Longitude refers to the lines that run north and south. They are determined by the numbers at the bottom of the map. Latitude refers to the lines that run east and west. They are determined by the numbers on the left side of the map. If these questions are answered correctly, then I will cast aside my doubts. What latitude runs through the center of Buccaneer's Den? Uh, 60. Did I just type 6, 0? No. Ooh, 60 is what we need. There we go. What longitude runs through the center of the island Turfin? Island Turfin. 120. This is kind of a neat copyright plan. What latitude runs through the center of the deep forest? 60. Excellent. I have no doubt now that thou art one true avatar. Oh, I almost forgot the password to leave or enter the town. It is Blackbird. Cool! So we got the password to leave the town, and we are ready to head to Britain, folks. Awesome! Well, let's go ahead and get some provisions before we go. Let's look at our inventories here. Uh, little kid actually might become the food... I think it's going to be our food guy. It's going to be my plan. So, uh, bag here. Food bag goes to kid. Yeah, he'll be our food. Our food man will be the plan. Man, we're just... We're rolling in monies. This is great. Getting rich. In fact, how much money do we have? 462 gold overall. Ooh, give that all to Grug. Uh, we got uh, some cake. Need to put that in the food bag. Oh, just inventory management is going to be fun. Oh, let's give these rings to Grug. I don't know who we would sell stuff to. Still a question. I wonder if we can sell stuff. Hopefully we can. Alright, uh, let's go to the inn. 
because uh, she sold food. And we're going to need to buy some provisions before we leave town. So, lady, hello again. Why, hello to you. I want to buy some food. What would that like? I would like mutton. Three gold for one portion. Is this price all right? Yes. How many was that like? Ah, okay. So, 30 gold. 60 gold. Let's buy 20 portions of mutton. Tis thine! Was that like something else? No. Okay. She blows a kiss. Do come again. All right, so in our inventory now, we should have a ludicrous amount of mutton. Woo! All right, let's get this uh, move to the, the food bag that the poor kid has. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen... Ah, oh, there's the rest of it. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, they ripped us off. She ripped us off of one. But I'm hoping that's enough meat to get us going for a while. I hope that will keep us going for the hunger. Woo, we don't want to get hungry on our adventures. I haven't eaten today and I can understand. So folks, if we go this way, again looking at our map of the uh, the world here, we have got uh, the docks are right here. So let's see what we have if we head out here. Hey guard, guard stop moving. You see an alert and no nonsense guard. Um, I wish to leave. Password. What is it? It is Blackbird. Very well. Oh, mayest pass. Folks! We are leaving. Oh, is this a sundial? It is! If we click it, it tells the time. It's 3 o'clock. So, folks, we are leaving. Ooh, let's sing a sea shanty. We are ready to leave. We have found the docks. We are ready to leave for Britain. I don't know if we'll be able to leave on this uh, ship. Oh, look at the birds! Oh! We can't buy, we don't own this ship, we need 600 gold. Looks like we're going to have to hoof it, actually. So we are going to actually have to go at the north gate. Oh! Yeah, you can't sail from here, can you? Like, if I step on here, yeah, I don't own this boat. Well, that's upsetting. And we don't have 600 gold. Alright, so we're going to go this way. Whoop! Whoop! Change, change it around a bit. There we go. We got caught inside a fence. There we are. Let's talk to this guard here. You see a tough looking guard who takes his job very seriously. Password. What is the password? Blackbeard. Very well. Blackbird. So folks, this... Oh, it's raining. This takes us outside Trinsic into the rain and folks we are ready to travel north to Britain in the dark uh, we might want to buy some torches before we leave this says Trinsic um, in fact before we go out there hey look it's our first is that just the storm yeah it's just just weather for a minute I thought it was uh, maybe nighttime but I don't think it's become nighttime yet get out of the rain people Let's buy some extra torches, just in case. How may I help thee? I want to buy... No, not... Why do buy and buy look the same? Um, what's your job? Yes, I know. I want to buy. There we go. Certainly, my lord. What type would you like to see? Uh, provisions. What would I like to buy? Uh, we have a bunch of... Ooh, we could buy more swamp boots. How much are swamp boots? Swamp boots sell for 40 gold. Yes. Very good. At least we're getting somewhere. Anything else? Yes. Swamp boots. Yes. Alright. So we bought swamp boots for the whole party. Let's go ahead and buy a bedroll. Yes. Alright. So we can rest outside. 
And then let's buy a torch for four gold. And let's buy one, two, three, four. Yeah, five sounds good. Very good. At least we're getting somewhere. Anything else? No. Goodbye, for real. All right. So, we now have... In our inventories, what do we have going on here? Is this the bedroll? Yeah. All right. We have got a bunch of torches. Which is good. We have got swamp boots for everybody. So we can just put these regular boots on the ground. Maybe some hobo can come along and take those and use them. But instead we'll put swamp boots on everybody. Uh, we've got torches. We've got gold. We've got these two rings that I don't know what we'll use them for. Cool! I think we are set to adventure. This episode's going long. I do apologize for that. But I feel like we have done well. So everybody is equipped. We are ready to go. We've got... Oh, this bedroll. Let's not... Let's put that here. Oh, it won't fit. You have to wear it on your back. Okay. Well, we have a bedroll. I assume that'll let us sleep when we want to. We have plenty of food again, right? Yes, plenty of food. Well, hopefully that's enough food. So we are all set. Folks, that's where we're going to wrap up this slightly long episode of Gaming with Grug. As the sun comes out and the storm stops... We are now ready to make our way out of Trinsic and towards Britain. If you remember, the road to Britain is up to the north, which we will be traveling on the next episode of Gaming with Grug. Until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you soon.